Searches for MCP servers on Google Trends are exploding. And you, my dear developer friend, need to know about MCP and how to build MCP servers because I believe it is a skill that will be very valuable in the coming months. Today you will learn what MCP is, how it works, how to build your own MCP server, as well as how to connect apps like Cloud and Cursor to your MCP server. MCP means Model Context Protocol. It is created by Anthropic, the creators of Cloud, to standardize how AI applications connect to external systems. It is like a USB C port for AI apps. Without MCP, AI development is fragmented because everyone is building their own implementation when they need to connect AI apps to other systems and data sources. With MPC, we have a standard interface that AI apps can use to connect to other systems without having to build a new implementation every time. The way it works is simple. On one side, we have MPC servers that can expose data, tools, and prompts. And on the other side, we have MPC clients, AI applications like Cloud or Cursor that connect to the MPC servers and make use of what they expose. Tools are functions invoked by the AI that run on the server, like sending a message or updating a database record. They are like a post request to an API endpoint. Resources can be files, database records, or API responses that the server exposes to give more context to the AI. They are like a GET request. And prompts are templates that will help the user ask better questions to the AI. Companies like Cloudflare, Stripe, Neon, and others have already published their own official MCP server. And if you go to smithery.ai, you will be able to browse and install more than 2,000 community-created MCP servers for things like GitHub, Gmail, Brave Search, MySQL Server, Supabase, and more. For AI agent builders like me, if MCP takes off, it will make it easier to build, share, and find tools that can be used interchangeably, no matter the agent framework. AI model or programming language. From the user's perspective, if you connect your cursor to the MCP servers of GitHub and Supabase, for example, cursor will now be able to review pull requests from GitHub or modify a setting in your Supabase account from within the chat window. From the server's developer perspective, you can build an MCP server for your users exposing their account data or tools to manage their account to let them interact with your servers from within the AI apps they use. I could make an MCP server for Nomad coders that lets you watch videos from within the chat window and lets you ask cursor questions about the lecture, for example. MCP also offers a whole new revenue stream for indie hackers. You can build an MCP server that does something useful and charge people for an API key to use your server's tools and data from within the chat window. That is on the bright side of things, but I think there is a dark side to it too. In a way, if MCP takes off, it will make UIs obsolete and the chat window will be the one UI to rule them all. That would mean that AI companies will have even more data about you, the services you interact and how you use them. They could, in theory, create a walled garden like Apple's App Store and control the MCP servers you can use from their app. That would suck. Now, to build an MCP server, you could go and read the spec and implement it all by yourself. Or you can use one of the existing SDKs that you can find in the model context protocol GitHub repo. As of today, there are SDKs for Python, TypeScript, Java, and Kotlin. We will use the Python SDK to build a hypothetical MCP server for stock traders, to sell and buy stocks, as well as get stock prices from within the cloud and cursor chat windows. To get started, first we have to install the SDK. Then creating an MCP server is the easiest thing in the world. We first import the fast MCP class from the MCP server fast MCP module. Then we create an instance of the fast MCP class with the name of our server. And finally, we run the server. Congrats, you just created an MCP server. Of course, this server is pretty useless. We now need to add some tools, resources, and prompts to make it useful. First, let's add a resource by creating a dummy function that will tell us if the market is open or not. And we decorate it with the MCP resource decorator. Remember, resources are like get requests, used to get data from the server. Resources are identified by a URI scheme. In this case, market slash slash state. If you wanted dynamic resources, you could use variables in the URI scheme. Notice how the symbol variable is defined in the URI and sent as an argument to the function. Now let's add a couple of tools. They are like post requests. They should perform an action. We create two functions, one for buying and one for selling stocks that are decorated with the MCP tool decorator. It is important to describe what the tool does as well as the arguments it receives and the data it returns since this will be used by the AI apps to understand how to interact with the tool. 
Finally, let's expose a prompt. The point of exposing a prompt is to help the user send clearer instructions to the AI model. For example, if there are some prompts that your company uses a lot, long prompts that you worked on for a long time, instead of making people copy and paste them every time, you can expose them as a prompt. Let the user select the one they want to use and complete some variables. Here, for example, let's say that we crafted a prompt that gets the best financial analysis for a stock. We create a function that takes some variables and returns the prompt as a string using the variables. We decorate the function with the MCP prompt decorator and we are done. Now that our server has resources, tools and prompts, it is time to connect it to Claude and Cursor. But before we do that, as you can see, MCP is just one more example of how rather than replacing developers, AI is creating new industries and career opportunities for us. Just as there is now a demand for developers that can build MCP servers, the ability to develop with AI is becoming increasingly important. In these times of change, it is important to find an environment where you can thrive rather than stagnate. Now is the time to expand your career into a position that opens you up for more opportunities as a developer. It is time to ride the wave of change and shape your future as a competitive developer. These couple of months, actually, March and April, are the busiest months of the year for job openings. It is the best time to change jobs, which is why Wanted, the career platform for developers, has created a reward event and a career guide for getting you hired. If you apply for a job through Wanted and you pass the first round of job applications, you will get a nice Ocean One reward in Naver Point, and you will enter a congratulations raffle to win Obeg Man One. Wanted has positions at leading AI companies, and it also offers free resume coaching for developers. Click the link below to join the event. So. As of right now, the way we connect to MCP servers is not the best user experience because we are in the very early stages of MCP. So things aren't as polished as they will be in the future. If you look at the feature support matrix, you will see the AI apps that support MCP and which features they support. The Cloud desktop app, not the web app, supports resources, prompts, and tools. So we will use that and Cursor supports only tools for now. To connect Claude to an MCP server, open the Claude desktop app, go to the settings, click developer, and then click edit config. That will reveal the location of a file called Claude desktop config.json that will be empty after you open it. In this file is where we should register the MCP servers we want to use. I know it isn't sexy or user friendly and it will change in the future, but it is what it is for now. Here we will write this code. The name of the server is stocks MCP server and the command to run the server is uv run main.py on a folder in my documents. Because we are so early for this, for now, Claude desktop does not support remote servers. So we need to give Claude desktop the command to run the server locally. In the future, we should be able to connect to a server just by copy pasting the URL. UV, if you don't know what that is, is like an NPM for Python. I'll make a video about it soon. After saving the file, we restart the Cloud Desktop app and we are ready to go. When we open Cloud Desktop again, you will see a connect icon. There, you can choose to share context with Cloud. Here, we can select the market state resource or the analyze stock prompt. We also had a dynamic resource, but for now, Cloud Desktop does not support dynamic resources. I select the market state resource and ask Cloud to tell me the market state. Cloud will use the resource to answer the question. We can click on the resource and sure enough, it will have the text returned by the server. In a new chat, we can now choose to analyze the stock prompt. There, we are prompted to complete the variables we set the prompt needs. I complete the variables and ask Claude to analyze the stock. It will use the prompt to answer the question. We can click on the prompt and see the variables interpolated in the prompt. In a new chat, we can click on the tools icon where we can see the tools available. They aren't selectable. Unlike resources and prompts that are selected by the user, tools are selected by the model. I ask the model to buy 1,000 shares of Cloudflare stock. It realizes it needs to use the tool. It shows me what input it will use on the tool and asks for confirmation. After confirmation, Claude lets me know the transaction is complete. We can see the input as well as the response from the tool. We can try to sell shares and it also works. To connect to the MCP server using Cursor is way easier. After opening Cursor's settings, we go to MCP and then click Add New MCP Server. There, we set the name of the server and we can choose if the server should be called from the command or from a URL. Cursor, unlike Cloud Desktop, supports remote servers. In our case, we select command and we pass the same UV command we used before. Cloud will run our server and display the available tools, buy stock and sell stock. Now we can open the chat window, select agent mode and ask it to buy a thousand shares of Cloudflare stock. Cursor will confirm the use of the tool and it will show the input and the response from the tool. Then we can ask it to sell half the shares and it will work. And that's it. And that is how easy it is to build an MCP server and how unsexy it is to connect it. 
but that will change soon. Enabling support for remote servers is actually being worked on, which will be a game changer since users will be able to connect to a server just by pasting a URL. There are also plans to bring OAuth support, so users will be able to authenticate with their own services instead of using API keys. And finally, there is a plan to make an official MCP server registry to make discovery and verification of servers easier. Once that is completed, in theory, you could make an AI agent that will automatically discover the MCP servers it needs to work with and connect to them. I really hope MCP takes off. And even though they are direct competitors to death, I hope OpenAI, Google, and DeepSeek all implement MCP on their app so we can build even cooler stuff. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.